The roads are clogged, and that means your taxes are going up. Michael Fields is with Colorado's chapter of AFP, Americans for Prosperity. Good to see you, young man. It's good to be back on with you, John. All right. Let's just do the basics here. A few years back, the Colorado legislature voted for something called Medicaid expansion, mm -hmm. Obamacare. Mm -hmm. And now one out of every four Coloradans are in Medicaid. It's just, it's, it's, it's wildly disturbing. By doing that, they set the budget on a course that means uh, we're going to squeeze out everything. There was not a public vote for increasing Medicaid spending. So now there's no money for roads. So instead of voting on Obamacare, which they know would fail, right. they're going to ask us to raise taxes for our crumbling roads. Yeah, so, uh, you know, years ago, healthcare was a lot smaller percentage of the budget. Uh, it has gone to 34% of our $28.5 billion state budget. And so, you know, they act like this is locked in place, like there was no choice made. Uh, they reprioritized the state budget, and now roads are, uh, you know, what are taking the hit. Uh, K through 12 education, higher education are all uh, starting to complain. And, and the solution from some legislators is to raise taxes. Uh, but we've seen that fail uh, the last four times pretty handily. The last four times, it's usually been education. Education. Last yeah. time was, and you and I worked together on this on Amendment 66, where this was for the kids. It was an income tax increase. They spent 12 million, 12 million dollars trying to pass it. They got a million dollars from Michael Bloomberg, a million dollars from uh, Bill Gates, and still they failed two to one on this. So now it's going to be transportation because we are legitimately hacked off by the traffic jam because they've squandered our money in other places. Yeah. So, so. We even have Republicans saying, you know, uh, tax increase for roads, that, that makes sense. Um, I'm thinking maybe they ought to find it in, this, in, in the budget now. What, what does AFP say about this? Well, it's our position, too. And, and really, if you look at it, only 5% of the state budget goes to transportation. I think if the average person heard that and said, you know what, a main job of the, of the government is to make sure that we have roads that work, that we're not stuck on I-25, uh, and only 5% is going towards it. And so I think you know, there has to be some adjustments made to the current budget. You have to look at how we're spending CDOT money now, how we're spending uh, a lot of the, the transportation money that we do have. Um, but ultimately, you're going to have to look at that Medicaid uh, you know, chunk of it to say, you know, how do we take care of disabled people? How do we take care of uh, children? Um, but you know, we have a large chunk uh, of, of 700,000 people that have gone on Medicaid rolls, not getting good quality care anyway, uh, and it's really crowding out these other things. Again, that was never put up to a vote. People in Colorado did not want Obamacare. The legislature pushed it through, and now it will be an ever-growing pie pushing out everything else. And I got to believe they knew this was going to happen. We certainly did. Yeah, no, and I think you're right about the tax increase, that they want to put pressure on so that, you know what, uh, the only way to fix the roads is to increase taxes. Uh, but as you said, Amendment 66, it was $12 million to $30,000. Uh, and it lost big uh, because they want to, the Coloradans want uh, the state government to prioritize their budget. Let me throw out a few things that sure. I think are priorities that might be put in the back of the line. CDOT has something called the Bustang. This is their mission creep to start becoming a transit uh, organization as well. Now, RTD gets $2.6 billion. That was what they uh, brought in last year. And that is to cover 2% you know, of the, the commutes. CDOT, which covers the whole state, got half that amount of money. And through that, they want to start building their own transit system. Before anybody is going to say yes to a tax increase, you better stop the mission creep at, at CDOT and stop talking about spending $100 million for bike lanes and a transit system run by guys who are supposed to be building roads. Yeah, and I think this is an ideological thing for a lot of the liberals to say, you know, transit's the way to go, uh, it's the way of the future. Um, why don't we look at the logic of it and look at what, you know, people are actually doing? And it's like, I know I don't take uh, the A-line out to the airport because I want to get there and get to my plane <laughs> on time. So I'm going to take Uber or I'm going to, you know, I'm going to drive myself. Or you would have um, taken the old buses, which yeah. actually went to, didn't break down. Yeah. The other one that, that always gets me is uh, the movie subsidies. Mm -hmm. We spend $9 million a year giving people like Quentin Tarantino money to make slaughter movies in Colorado. Because instead of fixing our roads, we want to give money to millionaires to make movies here. Yeah, we do it often. Uh, you brought up the Quentin Tarantino, The Hateful Eight. Uh, we gave several million dollars to that. Just recently, uh, Robert Kennedy the third, the Kennedy family, uh, got a, a subsidy, $300,000 for a movie here. Well, um, I mean, but 
Kennedy family. It's not like they have money to begin they with. They don't have money. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's, but, it's a tight thing. Yeah, and so in things like that, and and the cronyism in general. I mean, we give almost a billion dollars a year in tax uh, incentives to businesses to move here to do certain economic development programs. Uh, there's a lot of money out there uh, that could be used, reprioritized toward transportation. The one I love the most, and this is well, eight million dollars a year, something like that, is to give rich people money to buy Teslas. $5,000 at a shot. So these are cars that don't use gasoline, so they're not paying the gas tax mm -hmm. to pay for the roads, but rich guys are getting $5,000 from the state above and beyond the $7,500 that they're getting from the feds mm -hmm. to buy a sports car. But instead of cutting that program and putting it towards roads, they want a tax increase. And we can sit here and talk about these kind of all day. And the governor, though, said there's not one cent in the budget that we can not find. One penny. Not one, not one, not penny. one cent. Not one penny. Uh, we just don't believe it. And I think there's a revenue stream there uh, to, to, to potentially bond and to create uh, you know, projects where we can fix 25, where we can fix I-70. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. One of my favorites is that uh, when, when Social Security came along, FDR came along and put it, lots of states had their own Social Security systems. Mm -hmm including Colorado. Every other state got rid of theirs. Every other state got rid of theirs, except Colorado's. It's still around. They call it the old age pension fund. I think it's about 120, 120 million a year. 120 million. They want to get to about 200 to 250 million dollars a year to be able to bond. You're halfway there by doing what every other state in the union has done, but our legislature and our governor doesn't want to make that tough decision. Yeah, our, I mean, our pension system is in a whole lot of trouble, and you know, the, the Treasurer Stapleton has brought this up several times, but it's $30 billion in unfunded liabilities, and really when it comes down to it, for something like a school, that's money that's not going into actual classrooms, because 20% of every salary is going towards para, and it's still $30 billion in the hole. Right, only a few seconds left. Sure. If there is a tax increase on the ballot, Will AFP fight it? 100%. 100%. Yeah, we the way we fought Amendment 66. Yep. And Amendment 69 and, and every other right. big government right program. So. Thank you so much. Listen for me on KHAL Radio. Tell a friend, and we'll see you next week.